Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit more about the modifications made to the Wanhao. Uh, so I covered out a few of these in an earlier episode, but as I kind of matured the process, I want to talk about a few more. So I've added the radio fan over here on this side, and I'll do some overlays in addition to the video. So I have the 50 millimeter layer fan on with the dual-sided... Um, manifolds at the bottom really works great uh, it's part of this whole Bowden build assembly so I've been super impressed with it and the 50 millimeter radio fan gives a nice uh, bit of uh, cooling to the layers the other pieces as you noticed here I have this assembly which I did on super cooling the Bowden and so we have the 50 millimeter fan on here and notice how I have it turned at a 45 degree angle now this was the neat thing about this because you notice how I have the wires coming here um, basically to get the fan over here the radial fan on this side I had to move it this way and then I had to move this at a, at a 45 degree angle so it clears this side over here of the printer but yet gives me the full cooling with the 50 millimeter fan and everything kind of bundles up very nicely with this. I've also insulated my hot end with the ceramic tape like I've done my other printers. Uh, that's working really good. Uh, this is actually providing pretty good temperature stability. I'm, I'm usually jumping within about 3 degrees. The one house still got its little bit of wankiness in the temperature um, maintaining department even though I've replaced the thermistor and everything on this hot end. So I think it's in a firmware and I think that's probably one of the next places I'm going to go is, is upgrade the firmware in the Wanhao. But right now this is really working good. The other piece is, is this fennel bed. So for nylon and TPU, which is really what I've been printing on this printer, and I'll do another uh, thing on nylon in the future, this fennel bed has really worked well. I've been super impressed with it. I took some like 220 grit pay, uh, sandpaper, roughed it up a little bit. Uh, now like for this I had to do a little bit of, uh, of a brim because this is only two millimeters thick and uh, it, it actually I did one print on it and it almost held all the way through but you know uh, there's just not enough surface area here so the brim works fine really holds great nice release on cool down just like P P E P E I I'll spit it out uh, so again this is working pretty good the other piece is I don't know if I'm getting up here uh, probably out of sight a little bit up there. I'll do an overlay of it is the extruder now one of the things with the um, Extruder on the one how is, is actually very conducive because it has a peak on it for flexible filaments like this TPU that I'm printing here uh, So it works pretty good now one of the pieces that I'm going to do I probably have it overlaid is the 3d printed addition for the Bowden tube connector I'm going to probably machine an aluminum version out of uh, Aluminum version out of aluminum. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a probably CNC a version out of aluminum to replace the plastic one. I'm not overly happy with it. It works fine, um, but I just think it'd be better with an aluminum. So I'm going to make some of those changes. But all in all, so far, I'm very happy with uh, the way that this modified Wanhao is working, and especially for some of these uh, other plastics, um, which I want to work with with it. Has been working very good. The, uh, I've done a number of prints with this whole assembly. Uh, knock on woods held up well. So happy with it. Now one of the reasons you might ask why is it at this corner. So I'm ex doing some slicer experimentation and this is a semi-failed version of that experimentation. Um, so look for some stuff coming out. But it, it, it uh, you know, overlapped here in the brim a little bit but the rest of it printed fine so I just, you know, let it go because it was uh, going well and I need to get this done because this is going to be an adapter uh, for one of my laser cutters that I want to get finished up here. Uh, so look for another video on what I'm printing out to be coming out soon. So anyways, uh, again, kind of wanted to share this. So if you have a Wan Hao and it's kind of gotten a little bit long in the tooth and you want to repurpose it, um, I highly suggest doing this mod. And again, I'll have all this stuff links to this below so you can pick it up. Um, and, and make these modifications with the uh, E6 knockoff E6 hot end. I've been very happy with the hot end. Um, again, very happy with the radial cooling fan for layers. Pushes a lot of air. The manifold design, as I've already mentioned, is great. And the super cooler does a real good job at creating a nice transition um, temperature with inside the hot end for materials like this by keeping it cool. 
So anyways, hopefully you found this uh, interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Did I get my thumbs up in there? Nope. Get my thumbs up in there. Because uh, I'm kind of zoomed in on this because I'm standing back away from this. Uh, don't forget, Swag Shop will be up there. And uh, subscribe over there. Oh, hit me up below in comments if you have any questions about this. Um, let me know because, again, I'm going to be doing a few more things on this. And I'll also do a section on nylon. So cheers. See you guys in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.